In the shadowy corners of Russian prisons, a clandestine society thrives. An intricate hierarchy governs these underworld realms, a system as complex as the society that exists beyond the prison walls. It's a world of honor among thieves, where power is won through fear, respect, and a strict adherence to unspoken rules. At the apex of this imposing hierarchy are the thieves in law. These seasoned criminals, respected and feared, have clawed their way to the top through a combination of cunning, brutality, and unwavering loyalty to the criminal code. They are the puppet masters, pulling strings and dictating the course of the incarcerated world. A rung below, flexing their muscles to maintain order, are the enforcers, or obschak. These are the henchmen of the thieves in law, tasked with enforcing their decisions. They are the strong arms, the bruisers, the ones who keep the peace or break it at the whim of their superiors. Then come the brigadiers. These are the leaders of smaller criminal factions within the prison, often formed along ethnic or regional lines. They act as intermediaries, a bridge between the omnipotent thieves in law and the rest of the prison population. At the bottom of the pile are the foot soldiers, or Pazzani. These are the rank and file, the ordinary prisoners who follow the orders of their superiors. Their allegiance may shift from one brigade to another, depending on where they find protection or support. But this hierarchy isn't merely about power and control. It's also a caste system, dividing inmates based on their crimes. White-collar criminals, for instance, form their own distinct social circles separate from those who have committed violent offences. And this hierarchy isn't just about words and deeds, it's etched onto the skin of the inmates themselves. Tattoos and symbols worn by prisoners signify their status, crimes committed and affiliations within this intricate order. However, it's crucial to understand that this overview is a generalisation. The Russian prison system is as diverse as the country itself. Hierarchies can shift and evolve, influenced by changes in leadership and external factors. But one thing remains constant. The survival of the fittest, the rule of the strongest, and the power of the thieves-in-law.